it was one of the hardest decisions. Like I was up nights. It's not just about leaving a job, by the way. It's about leaving a high status job that I love, that I wanted, high paying job as well. Um, and I just said no to everything. And I, was, I didn't have any job at hand. And I just immigrated to Canada after a year of that assignment and uh, just didn't have any job on hand when I reached there. So, so you just landed there and you just settled there and then started applying for jobs after yeah, so, a senior position and then you know, starting from it, the scratch or not from the scratch, but you know, from all over again. Was it no, like so it, it was, it was from scratch actually. Uh, so uh, what I did was when I, when I was there, I, I, I did some math on how much saving I have. And thankfully so, because I was financially prudent enough that I saved enough to say, okay, if I don't have a job for the next 12 months, I should be good. But actually, that's not just the piece which is keeping you sane. The other thing is, which was the most challenging part, and since you're right here, how did you cope with it? The challenging part was, now I'm in Canada, I'm in my home, I'm going to bed and I turn on my mobile to just scroll through social media. And I go on LinkedIn and there is Umar who's getting promoted. I go like, Shh, Umar is getting promoted? I, like he was he, like he was either junior to me or he was the same level. And guess what? I don't have a job here. I just left the best job. And Umar is celebrating and XYZ is celebrating and so on and so forth. And it would just start to kill me. Like I would be up all night. It, I did, I did went through that misery for like three, four days. And then what I did was I switched off all my social media. Uh, LinkedIn, I switched off link. Like I was using LinkedIn because I had to use LinkedIn to get jobs, but I switched off all notifications. So I didn't know what others are doing, what is happening in the world. I am active. I was active in Instagram as well, but I, I had like 500, I was following 500 people, friends and all. I removed, I brought them down to like 50 and big athletes. I was just following them. None of my friends. Facebook, I just shut down Facebook altogether. Nothing. I just closed it. I was like, this will just kill me. And second was, what I did was I told myself, what is important for me? Like at the end of the day, who am I? And this is what I was we were, we were talking before we started recording is my identity was Procter & Gamble. Like you and I meet for the first time, you go like, so who are you? And I go like, I'm a manager in, or I'm a financial manager in, or CFO for PNG Pakistan or whatever. So I, I would always associate my identity with my day job or with Procter & Gamble. And after 11 years, I just lost that identity altogether. So I was like, this can't happen to me again because life will happen. Something will happen. Either I will decide to leave or the company will part ways with me. In this instant, I decided to leave, but in future company can part ways with me. And I, I need to have an identity of my own or I have to diversify my identity. And that's when I looked around and I looked at my kids and I was like, okay, I am a father. Where is that identity? I never like you and I will meet and I'll never go like I'll never start with that. I am a father of two kids. Never. Even in the in the with this podcast before we started, how you introduce yourself and how I introduce myself was all about our profession. And I don't know why we do this, but just because we've not developed any other identity. And I said, I just need to diversify into other things. And that is when I think the my YouTube channel also came from that uh, inspiration or that thought my focus on spending more time with kids. Like when I was with Procter & Gamble, I didn't know anything. My wife wasn't working in the Middle East. And there was a choice we made, which is like, I will be the guy who will earn. I will be the guy who will work on the weekend and she'll take care of the kids. So I never kind of enjoyed my kids. I never enjoyed my family. I was all about work, work, work. And I was like, I, this just needs to change. I need to have a different identity because this is not what matters most to me. Uh, so I had that reef reflection time and it changed me as a person altogether. Uh, so now when I when I when I meet, I try to tell people, still my day job holds most of my identity because it pays the bill. But I say I'm a coach. I'm the, the way you introduce, like I'm a coach, I have a passion for I have a I'm a YouTuber, I have a LinkedIn uh, uh, following as well, and uh, I teach and all. So I've tried to diversify my identity as much as possible. That is how I was able to cope. Now Given you said the restart piece, I, I did restart from scratch. And that is another thing which I say to people or recommend people, if they are coming abroad, if they want to immigrate, they have to come with the mindset, which is, I'm ready to sell pizzas, even if that means selling pizzas. 
And I've seen the people who succeed and get the job fastest way to find a job in Canada that I've seen is through this mentality of I'm ready to do anything. And during that reflection time, I developed this, uh, I, this attitude as well that I'm ready to do anything because it doesn't matter what I do. What matters is can I sustain a healthy quality life or not? And in Canada, you can because there's social security, there's, your kids go to school for um, like if I don't have job, my kids will still keep going to school. I'll still have medical. I'll, I'll have the basics. So I was like, okay, the basics are taken care of. What else do I want from life? I want happiness. I want to read more. I want to learn more. And I started engaging into all different sort of activities like YouTubing. I started playing guitar. I started, I picked up piano as well. I started road biking. I started CrossFit. A lot of things like I changed my identities. I, I can count like 10 identities on my finger just because of having that reflection time. Great here and uh, uh, great to know about this uh, part of your life because exactly this is what I feel. Not that I don't like my job. I love my job because it adds, I feel it adds a lot of value to the employees and especially the company that I work for, how it gives employment. Now it adds value to the economy overall. But when I come home, I, when I LinkedIn, especially since 2014 slash 15, I've been doing this. It's just that that feeling that what else am I doing in life? How am I adding value um, to my own uh, life or to the people around me? So like you mentioned, your own quality life is around your kids, around your family. And then again, how you coach and how you help people. And that's what... Well, you know, when sometimes people, this is a great piece on when sometimes people say, yeah, I feel empty. What exactly? And that's when people want, people should sit down and just think what exactly do they want from life? There's some people who are very satisfied with, 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 you know, a job and then, you know, just chilling after job and then that's it. And that's fine if they're like that. But a lot of people are very passionate and they want something else from life. Uh, so, for example, I was in dramatics for around four years in uh, my university days. And um, after I got into the corporate side, I just left it. So imagine a person who's always on stage, you know, entertaining, uh, being in the limelight. And then suddenly, I think that had an, that had a part to play by, you know, LinkedIn was so important for me because, you know, I started to get a following. And that's that's something that when you mentioned this, uh, I can feel it. And that's, that's also what I would like to recommend everyone. Just sit down and give yourself five minutes and just know that what, what I tell people is if you leave the world today how should you be remembered what what exactly do you want people to say do you want people to say that okay yeah, this person used to work here and uh, well, that was great which is fine if, if they like that or do you want to say do you want to say yeah, i want to be remembered as this person who added value i want to be remembered as this person who's great at xyz things 